it's a scam, Trump lashes out at Green Party's Jill Stein for forcing ridiculous recount in Wisconsin, as his team prepare for legal battle after Hillary's campaign say they will take part. Donald Trump has a lashed out at Green Party candidate Jill Stein calling her Wisconsin ballot recount a scam designed to get money after Hillary Clinton's campaign said they would take part. Clinton's team said on Saturday it would be part of a recount initiated by Stein in Wisconsin and the defeated Democrats' campaign would also support similar action if a recount was initiated in Michigan and Pennsylvania. Trump accused Stein of just trying to fill her coffers with money by initiating the ridiculous ballot recount. The people have spoken and the election is over, and as Hillary Clinton herself said on election night, in addition to her conceding by congratulating me, we must accept this result and then look to the future, Trump said in the statement obtained by Bloomberg. This recount is just a way for Jill Stein who received less than 1% of the vote overall and wasn't even on the ballot in many states, to fill her coffers with money, most of which she will never even spend on this ridiculous recount. All three states were won by large numbers of voters, especially Pennsylvania, which was won by more than 70,000 votes. This is a scam by the Green Party for an election that has already been conceded and the results of this election should be respected instead of being challenged and abused, which is exactly what Jill Stein is doing. While Trump did not attack Clinton in his statement, his aide Kellyanne Conway said the Democrats' campaign couldn't accept reality. What a pack of sore losers, Conway said. After asking Mr. Trump and his team a million times on the trail, will he accept the election results? It turns out Team Hillary and their new BFF Jill Stein can't accept reality. Rather than adhere to the tradition of graciously conceding and wishing the winner well, they've opted to waste millions of dollars and dismiss the democratic process. The people have spoken. Time to listen up. Prior to the election, Trump had refused to say if he would accept the result if he lost. During their final head-to-head -head debate, Trump said, I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense when questioned about it, 